I would like to start off with the um, hearing with some uh, basic figures related to uh, illegal immigration in the U.S. There are currently an estimated 11.2 million undocumented aliens in this country. At present, ICE has the resources to remove approximately 400 undocumented aliens uh, annually. You do not have to be a mathematician to see that there's an enormous discrepancy between the scale of illegal immigration issue and the resources available to address this. Faced with this reality, ICE has made it a reasonable decision to prioritize its resources to remove undocumented aliens who pose a threat to national security, public safety, uh, or our immigration uh, system, first and foremost. When I come from, this kind of smart use of limited resources is called good government. After all, wouldn't you rather remove someone with potential ties to terrorism before an elderly person? Why wouldn't you remove a gang member before you remove a pregnant woman? And why wouldn't you remove somebody with a history of DUIs before a child? This kind of prioritization should be common sense. Indeed, the use of prosecutorial discretion is unique neither to the current administration nor to ICE. Past administrations have made similar uh, choices when faced with uh, circumstances. Uh, members, um, I would ask you to take a look at, um, uh, there is a list of memos that have been turned in since 1979, I believe July 15, 1976 to the present time, both under Democrats and Republican administrations that have used prosecutorial uh, uh, discretions, both Democrats and Republicans, even under the last administration, uh, my friend uh, George Bush. Um, law enforcement officials uh, have used this, and, and, and one more thing before I go move from the, um, uh, from this uh, memos, there's also a letter dated November 8, 1999, signed by Democrats and Republicans, in fact, some members from this committee that are asking for prosecutorial discretion. Let me give you a list of some members that you might recognize. Uh, Henry Hyde, Lamar Smith, uh, Bill Burton, uh, I mean, Bill uh, uh, Burris. Uh, you have Brian, Bill Brary, uh, Nathan Deal, uh, David Dreyer, uh, James McGovern, James Sensenbrenner, uh, and uh, Sam Johnson. I don't see Michael McCall, you weren't here in 1999. Lincoln Diaz, uh, Barlett, and I go on. These are members, both Democrats and Republicans, and some folks that are taking a very strong position against prosecutorial members. This is a letter sent off to Janet Reno uh, and to Doris Missionary, the commissioner of uh, INS at that time, dated November 8, 1999, that are asking for prosecutorial discretion. Uh, and again, I would ask you, I'd be happy to share the copies of the memos, both under the Bush administration, Reagan administration, all the way down to the Jimmy Carter administration. As I mentioned, law enforcement agencies around the uh, country, both federal, state, and local, utilize enforcement tool, this enforcement tool, to ensure that they get the worst of the worst off our streets. There is a certain irony to the fact that ICE's commitment to removing undocumented aliens has been called into question when this administration has removed more undocumented aliens annually than any of its predecessors. Members, I would ask you to take a look at the uh, PowerPoint up there, and you will see uh, from 2001, uh, we were remo removing criminal, criminal aliens that were remo removed from the U.S. at about 73,000, a little bit over 73,000. Uh, in 2008, uh, the last year of the Bush administration, uh, we removed 105, 266. Then you move into 2009, 2010, 2011, uh, under the Obama administration. Uh, 2009, 131, 840. You can see a jump uh, from the past administration that were actually removed. In 2010, 168,000 plus that were actually removed, a jump from the prior administration. And in 2011, uh, you have 202,169 uh, 200, that were actually removed. In fact, if we keep going in 2001, in three years, we would, uh, we would remove more criminal aliens than the last eight years under the Bush administration. Uh, this includes, again, and, and, and this includes also numbers when you look at uh, including the undocumented aliens, not only criminal aliens, but undocumented aliens also. 
Recently, as part of ICE Operation Crosscheck, DHS announced the identification arrest of over 2,900 convicted criminal aliens. 1,600 of them were, that were arrested were murderers, kidnappers, drug traffickers, child predators, rapists, gang members, and convicted sex offenders. This is a fundamental example of smart, focused, effective immigration enforcement uh, that we have. Uh, I would ask that during this substantial budget cuts that we look and allow ICE to continue to exercise their law enforcement discretion to place priority on identifying, arresting, and removing immigration fugitives. I certainly want to commend, uh, Madam Chair, the work of uh, our ICE folks and, and certainly Director Morton for the work that he's done. Finally, the last thing I would just make to conclude is, as a member, uh, again, on, on from the border, I would have to denote, uh, note that I disagree with the title of today's uh, uh, hearing. The hearing title implies that there is amnesty for border crossing when, in fact, we continue to have a zero tolerance policy. In fact, in the Laredo area, the Border Patrol and the Del Rio area, uh, it used to be that people that would cross uh, would be sent back, uh, but under a 1954 law, we're now saying that they would have to spend some time uh, in, 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 a, in, in, a, in a detention in jail for doing that. That's something uh, that we just started doing in, in Texas. Uh, finally, the border crossing and immigration violators are specifically prioritized for, removing, for removal under the ICE policy. Uh, and again, we would have to be careful from using amnesty because if not, I'm afraid that we could cause a possible magnet effect uh, uh, of, this member, uh, of this border security and then this misinformation would say, you know what, in the United States there is some uh, amnesty involved, so we would have to be very careful. I, don't, I do not believe in amnesty. I don't believe that what Ronald Reagan and the, the Democrats did in 1986 uh, created amnesty. I don't, I don't agree with that. Uh, and I certainly want to thank uh, uh, Madam Chair for having this hearing so we can talk about these important issues. And certainly want to thank all the witnesses for being here today. I yield back the balance of my time.